Hi, I'm Kerry Grinkmeyer. I'm the host of Best of Us Investors. Let's get right to it. Uh, how am I going to grow a portfolio to 258 million? Well, it's not me that is presenting the basis of this. It's based on uh, a statement made by Walter Isaacson that says this is going to be bigger. The healthcare revolution is going to be bigger than the digital revolution. Watch this, hear his words. When I started this book, I thought, okay, biotechnology and CRISPR, it's the most amazing thing happening in our time. And then I realized by the end, I was understating the case. Walter Isaacson is the author of best-selling books about Benjamin Franklin, Albert Einstein, and Steve Jobs. His latest, The Code Breaker, published by Simon & Schuster, part of Viacom CBS, is about Jennifer Doudna and her work on CRISPR. Oh, I think the biotech revolution is going to be 10 times more important than the digital revolution because it allows us to hack the code of life. So if it's going to be 10 times the size of the digital revolution, just what does that mean? So how do you put a number on a 10x digital revolution? Uh, and, and what does digital revolution mean to you? To me, it means Apple and Microsoft. That was the essence of the digital, digital revolution. They're the ones who started it. And let's look at their growth to say, okay, if this is going to be 10x that, what can it amount to? First of all, though, I'm not your financial advisor, but I'll get right to my numbers and show you what I'm talking about. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. So let's look at the growth of Apple. Let's use it as our example. Let's use that as what Walter is saying, that it's going to be 10x, the digital revolution. So I'm going to ask you to bear with me that it might be 10x of uh, Apple. In fact, all I'm going to suggest is it equals Apple's growth. And let's see what that amounts to. Apple started in 1982 and grew to where it's at in 2021. And I want you to look at this uh, chart, this Excel spreadsheet that I created. And you're going to see in 1982, the the growth of uh, Apple basically had a 35% growth in the first year, went down 18%. 19% up, 24% down, 8, 84% in um, 86. So right here, you see the growth of Apple over that period of time. So what I did was say, okay, the digital revolution, excuse me, the healthcare revolution, the genome sequencing, the genome editing really went public in about 2017. And so now we're up to uh, 2022, which would be in in years of, of uh, existence equivalent to 1987 of Apple. I own $260,437 in this space. I'll show you my holdings after we get through this. So what I said was, okay, let's just hypothetically say that this grows, this portfolio of health care, what I choose to call health cure, grows the same way that Apple did. Do I believe it will? No. But I want some historical relevance to give me an idea of what I might expect. And as you can see, I would, I, uh, based on Apple's growth, I'm going to have a good year this year. Uh, 2022, I'm going to get 107% growth. Do I know that will happen? No, I don't. But then I'm saying then 4%. So you get the drift of what I'm doing. And you can see my portfolio grows from 260 to 540. And then we get down here, it just kind of hovers for a number of years. We get down to the dot-com bubble and the bottom falls out of it. Do I believe there will be another dot-com bubble or something equivalent to it? Probably, I don't know. But what I'm trying to do, if if Walter is right, and this is just equal 
to the digital revolution. And if you and I believe that Apple represents the digital revolution, this is what I can project and make me feel comfortable of what might this mean. I, I got a question. I, I hold a a Zoom meeting every uh, Friday at the close of the market. And in yesterday's meeting, a number of my uh, tribe members asked me the question, how long is this genome sequencing, genome editing, health cure uh, endeavor going to take? What should we expect next year? I said, I don't know. Well, is it going to be affected by interest rates? I said, it could, because most of these companies are in debt. Is it going to be infected by inflation? I said, none of those things really make any difference to them. Once they put the needle in the arm and, the, and that the, the um, uh, people start seeing that cancer, heart disease, uh, Alzheimer's, can all any genomic defect can be taken away and they can be taken out of their bloodline. Once that occurs, that is going to be equivalent to Apple's introduction of the iPhone. When that happens, you're going to see a 100, a 200% increase in the value of these stocks. And then as they become more and more effective and more and more people benefit and more and more people go get their genome sequenced and more and more people get the needle in the arm to take those diseases out of our life, out of our bloodline, it's going to explode at least as equivalent to that of Apple. Will it take this long? Will it take from, what was it, 1982? to uh, 2021? No, I don't believe it will. I don't think it will take from 2022 to 2056. I, I just don't believe it will take that long. Because what if you believe in the science, if you believe in genome sequencing, and, and you can't believe in it, I know you can't believe in it if you haven't read the books that I've read, uh, which started with uh, Lifespan and then went to, um, let me see, uh, the cracking of the code and then ended up with the code breaker. If you haven't read these books, you don't know what is about to happen. You don't understand the dynamics of the, the genome sequencing and the genome editing, so you don't have the confidence that I have as to what is about to happen in our world. So I look at this chart and I say, yeah, yeah, it's going to create a 500 and, uh, 258 million dollar portfolio at least at least, because as, as Walter says, this is the code of life. This is not an iPhone. This is not um, e-commerce. It's not ordering a printer or ink cartridges or clothes from Amazon. It's extending your life years. It's taking cancer out of your bloodline. So, this is bigger than, than all of those combined. So when Walter says 10X, does that mean that this could turn into, what does that make that? That makes it a $2.5 billion portfolio, not a $258 million, but a $2.58 billion portfolio. Okay? So what is this magic portfolio that you have, Carrie? I don't know or I shouldn't say I don't know, I don't know if I have all the right stocks. What I do know is from my readings, I know who the key players are in this. I've then researched to find out what companies are they affiliated with, and if they are affiliated, how active they are, and what, what therapies are they going after relative to others. And then I added it to, to it beyond the genome, the protein sequencing and the protein folding. And then I've, I've read books to give me an idea 
uh, or knowledge on artificial intelligence and how artificial intelligence is going to speed up the process of finding uh, antibodies to cure other mental, or excuse me, uh, other medical problems. So it's all coming as a result of genome sequencing, genome editing, protein sequencing, protein editing, uh, IA, intellectual uh, artificial intelligence in pharma, and that's how I built my portfolio. So here is a look at my portfolio, and I'm showing you each of the tick ticker symbols, and I'm showing you their market cap, and I'm showing you a price that when I did this, and how many shares I have, what their values are, and that represents the 256,000 that I have now that I project will grow to at least 258 million. And if Walter's right, 2.58 billion. Okay, that's what excites me. I don't really care what happens in the stock market next week, the first six months of this year, the last six months of this year. What I care about is what is uh, Caribou and CRISPR and Editus and Nutella and, and Beam, what are they doing to, to extend my life, your life, my grandchildren's lives, my great-grandchildren's, of which I have none, uh, lives? What are they doing to change the world that we live in. That's what I look for every day. In my call yesterday, um, that was uh, on Thursday, uh, I, I said to, to my tribe, we, we had about 60 people there on a Zoom call, and I said to them, if you didn't read something this past week to educate you on genome sequencing, genome editing, artificial intelligence, artificial intelligence in pharma, shame on you, shame on you. This is the opportunity of a lifetime for you to change your financial future, to change your children's financial future. No, this is not as big as the Powerball uh, at 440 million, uh, that's going to be drawn on, I think, later this week, but it is 258 million. If Walter's wrong, <laughs> and it's only equal to the digital revolution, put that in your mind. G go, go sit in a dark corner somewhere and think about this. If you'd like a copy, of these charts, um, just go to our our uh, pa uh, Patreon uh, or go to Best of Us Investors. That's the easiest way to do it. And give me your name and your email address, and then go to the Patreon, and you'll find these listed there under Carrie's Portfolio Projections. Okay, uh, and and then you work the numbers. You if if you want to change the numbers. Uh, to Microsoft's growth or our Amazon's growth. The, these numbers are all on the, uh, the internet. You just plug the numbers in and it will change the, 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 the outcome however you want it. But what I want you to understand is this is an opportunity for you to change the world, your world. I, I said this in another video, and, and, and then I said it yesterday at, at our, our meeting. I grew up believing that the, my wealth, my achievement of wealth was contingent and dependent upon my personal ability to go get out and get a job and, and, and create wealth, to save money. That's all wrong. That's all, I, and I'm sorry it took me so long to learn this. If I can go out and make money and then not spend it ridiculously and then invest it in people like Steve Jobs and Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk, then I can, I can share in their genius. I don't have to be a genius. 
to become a multimillionaire. I can do it by, by leeching on. What is that? Uh, hanging on to people who are smarter than me. But I have to find them. I have to read. I have to understand what's happening in the world around me. And if you want to find these books, they're all in the description. It's only shame on you if you don't go and educate yourself so you can say, Carrie, this stock is wrong, but this one is right. And where will you do that? You'll do that on our Friday afternoon meetings uh, when you come as a part of our Discord. That's best of us investors. I hope this is helpful to you. And I hope you, I hope you <coughs> realize what Walter said. If you don't realize, run the video back to the right near the beginning and listen to him again. All right. I hope this helps you. And, and if, if it does, give it a like, ring the bell and subscribe, and then share it with anybody that you love and that you want to help become extremely wealthy, like your children, like your grandchildren. Come on. It isn't that difficult if you will pay attention to what's going on around you. Talk to you again tomorrow.